Hey guys, welcome back to WPN Manager. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a new API key for our WPN Manager REST API and how to control the API access, okay? So to get started, we can go to Event Manager, then REST API. And from there, we can go to API access. So we have not created any API key as of now. So I'm gonna create a new one, okay? And over here, you have to describe your API key name. So identifier. So provide something that you can identify your API key later on. So I'm gonna just type it test. And over here, user owner of this keys. Okay, so what that means, our WP event manager, REST API, isolates each organizer's events within their namespace. Okay, so what that means, organizer one cannot see organizer two's events using REST API. Okay, so we're gonna select the event 2020 from the list. So that's the account I am using. And expiry date, I'm not gonna set any, but you feel free to set any expiry date that you wanna set for an organizer over here if you want so. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And over here we have permissions, right? So either you have read, write, or read, write. So this is pretty much self explanatory what they mean. So read means the API access will be only read. So people or like the API user will be able to read data using that API key. And then we have write. So that means API key will be able to only write to the uh, server or like to the your platform using that API key, no read permissions. And read write means both, okay? So API key will be able to read and write, like perform both operations using that API key, okay? So I'm gonna switch it to read and write. All you have to do is click on generate API key, okay? So over here, you will find a success message, API key generated successfully. Crucial part over here, copy your credentials, okay? Copy your consumer key, copy your consumer secret, and copy your app key. All of these details need to be copied at this moment, right? Otherwise, you won't be able to view them after you leave this page, okay? So this is one-time transaction. So I suggest you carefully save these details somewhere in your computer. Okay, so this app key will be used in WP Event Manager's companion app or the organizer app that's been available right now in Play Store and Apple App Store as well. You can go ahead and download that. So the API key will be used on the app side. So app will be able to communicate with your server using that app key. And consumer key, this is for basic authorization or basic authentication that we can do using rest api okay so to demonstrate i have a uh, like postman open over here so this is a collection that we will provide you from our official website inside our rest api documentation so over here in the authorization tab you will see we have a username and a password so we can use the username and password from here uh, consumer key will be our username and consumer secret will be our password so we can supply those over here and perform query okay so Let's uh, do a thing. Uh, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here in my postman. And then I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here in my postman as well. And this is set to our demo server. I'm gonna change it to my event platform so we can have a better look. My event platform dot com okay so since we have our rest api enabled over here as you can see if i send this query we'll be able to fetch data from our rest api see so we have our app logo so this app logo feature i explained it to you in our previous video on our general settings video we have our app splash screen image and color schema and dark color schema so we will talk about this color schema later on in this channel so that's inside this app branding over here and i'll explain it to you how to configure this and how to get this working so rest api's main like purpose right now is communicating with our companion app but that doesn't mean you cannot use the REST API to create your own solution, okay? So this branding data endpoint is purely configured to provide data to our app, such as the app logo, the color scheme and all, but you can still use them to like create your own platform. But don't worry, we have a lot of other endpoints that you can use. So I'll give you a like quick rundown over here to perform certain tasks on your website using external 
services okay so using rest api and using your credentials you can perform a vast majority of tasks on your website using rest api okay so that's pretty much uh, like concludes the api access section over here okay so you can see after creating the api key we have the app key we have the description we have the consumer key user and we have the permissions and the last access okay so as i said the consumer key and consumer secret won't be visible once you leave the creation screen so make sure you copy them somewhere safe but the app key will be always visible you can just copy that and use it on your app and over here you can edit the description for the rest api key and you can also revoke the key okay so that's pretty much concludes this video about the api access section and in our next video i'll show you how to add different api keys for different organizers okay so that pretty much concludes this video i hope you found it useful if you did let me know in the comment and if you have any kind of queries let me know in the comment as well i'll be sure to help you out in there and until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one